Yeah, Mr. Plume about to check in this rap, baby. Hope you enjoy. Mr. Puma likes to go crazy when he kills his newbies, he ain't lazy I'm not trying to go in a phase, but I'm a beast I give you a treat, kill you with my bullets, maybe two to three I think I'm on a killing spree, that's what I do I kill newbies, all day it's fun, cookies, ha Hey guys, what up? I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that quick little rap there I did there, freestyle rap. I'm just, I just wanted to have a little fun while doing that, just show you guys a little bit of taste of what I got in my rapping. But, you know, as you could tell by the rap that I just did there, I'm not a very good freestyle rap, but I just like having fun doing it. I'm more of a pre-planned writer slash rapper than a freestyle. It's just hard processing the words that are coming out of your mouth while you're rapping, going with the beat. So. I struggle with that freestyle rapping, but anyways guys, I'm bringing in a new edition of Story Tuesday. I don't know if you guys seen my previous video about like three or four weeks ago where I was going to do a series on Tuesday where I tell you guys a funny story that or an interesting story that has happened to me on Tuesday. I'm going to share with you guys that today. So, um, if you haven't seen my previous video about me talking about me doing a basketball montage well, let's say something happened and I wasn't, I didn't very, I didn't do very good in the tournament. So this tournament, this three on three tournament, I was all pumped up to ready for the round, our first round. And I did this beautiful fadeaway shot. I wish I could show you, but I didn't record the first game. I did this beautiful fadeaway shot. You know, we were tied and everything. But then from then on, Oh, the game just went down for we we're all doing air balls. We we're hitting brick shots I mean every single shot that we threw up there. were not the greatest shots. So um, After this like I guess during school the next two days on the Monday um Everyone was just talking crap about us like oh we sucked uh, One of my friends got an April break. It was kind of funny that He's a he's more of a football player than a basketball player and then when the guy when he just guarded that guy cuz these guys were just 8th graders and I'm a junior I'm an 11th grader and I felt like good going into this game like we were going to easily defeat them but I mean they were pretty good for 8th graders it's just that we couldn't execute but anyways um what I was trying to say is that my friend um the, he's more of a football player than a basketball player and it was so funny when he was guarding him. He just fell out of nowhere and the guy crossed over. Everyone was like, ooh. Like he got ankle break or something. But he didn't really get an ankle break. He just got tripped. But yeah, the basketball tournament didn't turn out so well. So I guess the montage is going to be postponed for later on. But I, I, I know I have potential in basketball. Not really like very, very good. But like this was just one of my days that I just did really bad and I just want to tell you guys like there are these days where you could go really bad people may bring you down whatever but you just got to learn that it's just one day like you could do way better these other days you could prove yourself wrong and I just know that going to the <laughs> going into that day I knew I was, people were going to talk bad about me so I just what I'm gonna do about that basketball montage is I'm gonna maybe redeem myself, maybe go to a park or something, play, play against other people, and then hopefully get a film there so I can do that basketball montage so you guys could see that. Hopefully, so basketball montage will be postponed, but I know I can do way better than I did. It's just air balls out the air balls. But anyways, I want to stop talking about that. And here in this gameplay, um, I recorded it off of theater mode, and then I was doing very good. Could have got like an 80 plus, but then host migration, you know, fell on us. So in the clip, it just fell at the end. And I did not know going into this gameplay how the SWAT was going to be so good. I, I didn't know the SWAT, if you just use stock. Um, Silencer and select fire. I mean, this is a beautiful gun. You don't even need toughness with this gun. I rec I definitely recommend use this gun because I this is an underrated gun on this game. The SWAT. It's just you feel so smooth. It's like a mini. It's like a big uh, assault rifle. Uh, what I say? The big. It's like a big P90 from Mo Modern Warfare 3. It feels so swift. It feels so good. The iron sights is so great. Very few, not a lot of flinch in this gun, so I recommend you guys use that. 
So a few things I just wanted to tell you guys right before this video ends is that I wanted to welcome all the new subscribers that I came to my channel. It just means a lot that you guys took the time just to come and and that you enjoy my content and I just feel like subscribing to someone's channel means like you enjoy the content. Not that you're just trying to be nice to someone because I mean you want to be active with their channel. You want to show them the love and that you enjoy their channel. That's what I just believe in subscribing. You know what I mean? So also it mean a lot that if you guys follow me on my Twitter account, my Twitter will be in the description below so you guys can know all the updates on my channel. And for now I'll see you guys later. Mr. Puma checking out. Peace out and there goes the game.